Hey guys, welcome back. This is Ken from Ken Averson Plastering here with JR. And uh, we're on our third day on this big little job. We had to demo the stucco off. Uh, the gentleman had a leak in his walls. So the leak has plagued him for the last 20 years. He's had several window replacements and he's called on us to uh, see if we can finally remedy the situation and put that nightmare to bed for him. So uh, we've torn all the stucco off. We have uh, two layers of gray D 60 minute paper behind this paperback lath uh, for extra water protection. This is open stud construction right here. Uh, there's a line wire running through this paperback wire to give it support. And we're gonna do a scratch brown and finish on this. We're gonna scratch this today. And then he's gonna do it, uh, the gentleman, the homeowner, he's gonna do another water test on Friday, give it a couple of days to cure. He's gonna start water curing it tonight. And then um, on Friday, he's going to give it a, a nice hit of water. Uh, this time I'm gonna tell him only put 10 minutes of water on it. We're going to do the scratch brown and finish on here. Um, some guys might try to do this one with one coat of mud, but if somebody's trying to sell you a one coat on a job that's this size, I mean, this is a small job, uh, but it's a little bit bigger than would be suitable for a one coat stucco. So if somebody's trying to sell you a one, st one coat stucco on here, I would pass and maybe go to the next guy and see if you can get a better quality system. Because honestly, if you try to do this with one coat on an open stud construction, you're never gonna get the wall flat enough, you know, to be acceptable. Uh, it's gonna look like hell, uh, which I've seen a lot of guys do. So, and I, I'm guilty of it myself. I've done it before in the past, tried to do a one coat uh, on something that's this big. And we were successful, you know, but it's just not the quality that we would like to see, uh, especially as a homeowner. You know, I, I myself being a homeowner, I'd, I don't want to see somebody coming out and doing a fly-by-night job on my place. So without further ado, uh, we're going to go ahead. We got the mud mixed up already. We got our tools here. And what else we're going to be using is uh, some concrete bonding. This is uh, Best Build Concrete Glue. Um, I'm going to be putting that in my mud as I go uh, to give the mud some more water protection to repel water so that's the idea behind that glue it, it makes it stronger less cracks like you've heard me say before stucco doesn't crack uh, stucco doesn't leak unless you have a crack in it the water will get in through that crack hit the paper and hopefully it's going to run down the bottom of these weep holes here on the bottom so water is going to naturally get into these vent holes so any, any place that it leaks below the floor line here is not a horrible situation, but we've got it all cocked. We've cocked every staple hole in this entire job, cocked the sides of the windows, not the top, to allow for drainage. If any water gets in up there uh, and comes down, it will theoretically drain out above the window. Whereas you cock it above the window, it's just gonna lock that water in, which is not gonna be good. So we've got every staple, uh, caulking on Avery Staple. We've been inside the house. We took advantage of the uh, sheetrock that he took off inside uh, to see if we could see any daylight coming through. And we caulked those uh, a few holes that where we could see light coming through. And we're good to go on that. So we've got this corner tied in over here for him because this corner wasn't turning out as nice as I would like to have seen it. So we took it off a little bit further, put a brand new piece of corner aid on here. And we've sealed it up the corner with bichethane and caulking, uh, kind of an added measure to prevent it from leaking. So we do have a couple of brand new foundation vents here on the bottom and a, a brand new dryer vent. JR is finishing the masking on the doors. And without further ado, again, we're gonna get going on this scratch coat and we'll check in with you a little bit later.